Oh God, I don't think you know true fear until you decide to tape your phone on top of a light and pray it doesn't fall off. <laughs> Guys, I need to invest in a tripod. This is getting bad. Here we go, one more time, everybody. I don't even know anymore. Um, hey, it's me. Hello, it's me again. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to deal with this face. Uh, <laughs> I sound like I'm a maniac. Let me, let me bring it back for you. I was looking online and I thought it would be kind of rad, radical, rado, rado, if I told you guys some deep answers about my life. I found this website that has all these deep questions you can ask people, which some of them I think crosses the line and boundary of not asking someone that unless you're like married to them or they're your like your kid or something i don't know i thought i would answer a few so you could have a better understanding of me of my mind of my mediator personality which is the most misunderstood out of all of them how do you spend the majority of your free time and why um i write love to write i've written Tons and tons of stories. I haven't finished like any of them, but I don't consider myself having ADD. I think I'm just really prolific. I'm constantly thinking of new ideas and new things to write, and I love it. That's how I spend my free time, all the time. Describe the greatest adventure of your life. So you know what was really cool actually? In uh, 2011 or so, I got to go to Toronto and I got to go to a record label uh, of my, my favorite musician at the time, was still an artist there. And it was so cool. It was so fun. And honestly, it kickstarted my mindset to want to work in the music industry. So I think that was a pretty awesome adventure. What are you looking forward to? I don't know. I don't. I'm someone that tries to live in the moment, so I don't really like like to look ahead too much. I try to like live each day uh, to the fullest. But if I had to say, I'm hoping my best friend from Boston will come and visit me next year. So that is something I'm definitely looking forward to. Where would you like to live? Why haven't you moved? Okay. I don't know if there's lipstick on my teeth. Don't mind my stomach that keeps popping out. These pants, I used to wear them when I weighed a lot more, obviously, as you can see. Um, so they fall down. Anyway, where would I like to live? Either New York, Seattle, Nashville, uh, Vancouver, Toronto. Why haven't I moved? Because I'm 21 and I'm from New Jersey, therefore I'm broke. I'm broke, guys. I don't even have money to support myself, let alone, you know, get on a plane and move somewhere. and and make that work out. Eventually I will, eventually I will. Describe the next five years of your life and plans in a single sentence. <gasps> this is like, sounds like a scary, uh, uh, what's the word, test. There we go. I would love to live in Nashville and work in the artist and repertoire department at a record label. And I think that's hopefully where I will be in five years. <laughs> Let us pray. If you're Catholic, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Could you be persuaded to kill someone? If your answer is no, how much money would it take to change your mind? Um, no money in the world could change my mind. I would never kill someone. No, no, no. What have you given up on? Uh, you know, relationships that have like fallen through. And I've given up on wanting to be in the uh, FBI. Yes, that was a dream of mine. And then my teachers told me I'm too stupid for it. Yup. How do you celebrate the things you do have in your life? Um, I like to get people things. I like to give people presents. You know, just like out of the blue, just give people something to show that, you know, they mean they mean a lot to me or I just like write them something I'm like I like to do nice things for people dun, 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 dun. If your entire life was a movie what title would best fit turbulence <laughs> <laughs> actually I'm not even kidding 
If you lost everything tomorrow, whose arms would you run into to make everything okay? My mom. I love my mom. <sighs> Someone from Nork just interrupted. I don't know anyone from Nork, in case you were wondering. Um, but the last question I said was, what would people at your funeral say? Probably that this bitch was crazy, but she was funny as sh if you could send a message to the entire world, what would you say in 30 seconds? Oh gosh. Make the most of the time you got. Um, your family isn't always your family and that's okay. And uh, love yourself. That's probably what I would say. One more. I'll do one more. Uh, uh, what were you doing when the last time you lost track of time? I'm probably writing. I always lose track of time when I write. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you have a great week. What day is it? Weekend. I hope you have a great weekend. I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Bye. Love you.